What do I love about coffee? It's bittersweet. It's like this long love affair that's exciting, heartbreaking, evolving, but all encapsulating. Like any relationship, it takes work. Over the years, I've made thousands of coffees in some of the best artisan cafes in the world. And I've gotten to know some pretty amazing people along the way who've become good friends of mine. This is a program about people. People who inspire me because of their passion, honesty, and their insights, which have made them who they are. They are willing to share their challenges, successes, and experiences with us. I've been inspired by each of them in so many ways, I just have to share them with you. You'll be meeting a rock musician, a war journalist, an acclaimed British actor, a top London chef, and many others. Join our conversation as we get some insight into their lives. Along the way, you'll learn a bit about who they are and a bit about coffee too, because I'll also be taking you behind the scenes into the heart of London's coffee industry, exploring the intersection between coffee and life. I want all these amazing people to be a part of your world as well as mine. In this episode, I speak to my friend Natalie Mendoza, an actress and a musician. We talk about racism, bullying, and she shares a really personal story about her and her sister, which actually compels her to work, and it also inspires creativity. We talk about what it means to be an artist, and you definitely see this when she takes on the challenge to make me a coffee. Well, I was going to start with, like, how, how did we meet? I think I walked in here with a, a dear friend of mine. Mm. I just innocently came in for a coffee, and yep. uh, all of a sudden, you sort of pounced on us. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hang on, don't, I know who you are. And I'm, yeah, and it ended up that we had a mutual friend. Yeah, from, one of my dearest friends. It's not often, well, for me anyway, that I know or even see many Asian actors. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you've been on Hotel Babylon, um, The Descent, uh, Moulin Rouge. You've yeah. done, like, pretty amazingly. And yeah. also, you're a musician, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I come from a, a family of artists. Um, we were sort of brought up all doing everything. There are six kids, and my parents were artists as well. My mum was a dancer. Just just to clarify, you are born in Hong Kong, yeah, and then you're brought up in Australia. Brought or? up in Australia and parts of Asia because I left school uh, sort of early, and we, we moved to Australia, and then I moved back to Asia and stuff when I was, you know, in my teens. And then you came to London. Yeah, right? and I yeah. lived in all all different parts of Asia, Singapore yeah. and Hong Kong and uh, Seoul and Japan. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. Yeah. Your dad's Filipino-Spanish. Mm. And But what was unique was my mom was white and my dad was, you know, quite a dark-skinned Filipino. And so that was very unusual at the time. You know, it was this is around the time in Australia where they still had the white Australia policy, so you could oh. only immigrate if you were white. And my dad married this beautiful, you know, white Australian <laughs> woman um, and uh, you know now it's it's sort of laughable to think about it but back then that yeah. was a huge deal um, Are they really still hard together? yeah and it was very very hard and there was different cultures and um, but it made for an amazing upbringing and uh, we had a lot of bohemian uh, friends around us and like you know, designers and all sorts of people, like in Hong Kong. Being Asian, so did you have any, like, direct challenges growing up? I definitely experienced racism growing up in right. Australia, and I was so happy to see that my younger siblings didn't experience that at all. And how did that affect you growing up? You know, I just was a fighter. Not like a, a fighter, but I just, you know, I, bullying is a, is a real problem, but I also think it's important that you are able to learn how to turn any situation like that around, just, even if it's just an internal thing. Well, it's, it's quite interesting to see how people's parents sort of influence them. Do you think you're more sort of like your mum or who do you think influenced you the most? 
the way it worked, because there were so many kids, my mother would take my older sisters to dancing school or whatever and I would be left at home with my father and I was the shy very Asian one yeah. my father said oh you're the most Asian and I was I was just like kind of a mute I had these siblings who had these big personalities yeah. and I just the effect it had on me was I just sort of became very shy well I think it's interesting with artists whenever anything happens to them or around them it definitely affects their creativity right yeah like, yeah I mean, has there been anything in your life that's kind of, like, fired that up? 20 years ago, I was in a situation where I witnessed my sister, who I just, you know, I was in this band with, we're incredibly close. I witnessed my sister being stabbed by her husband. I walked in at that precise moment by a miracle, um, survived. Yeah. Uh, We were told, we were told to prepare because she was not going to make it. And, you know, I was I was just in this zone. I was sort of prayed over her, which I'd never done in my life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I, it was this just very surreal sort of experience. So oh I had God. to keep working, basically. <laughs> you know, I, I don't, I'm not someone that likes to, cr- thinks that I need to create from a tortured place. Yeah. You know, that's sort of an old way of thinking. I th- so what would you say would be your biggest sort of, personal challenge and biggest career challenge. You know, I could give an example of Spider-Man on Broadway. Yeah. You know, I'd actually taken time out of my career and then Bono and Edge cast me as the lead role, wow. the secret role that the world was not going to know about. Yeah. Unbelievable. And working with a huge director. And then I got injured and on the first preview. Oh so God. I'd been working on this project that no one knew about in top secret, but it was all going to happen. I'd done a big photo shoot with Annie Leibovitz for Vogue. It was My career was like just Rip. about to yeah. explode. Yeah. And it was this role that was really kind of designed, the whole thing was designed for me. Like it was... That's incredible. Was, yeah. You know, and so it was, it was this weird thing where it's like all the stars aligned and I was meant to play this part. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I got injured and it was, you know, it was kind of like my career was just laid out for me and then all of a sudden it was snatched away. And so that can be absolutely devastating. Were you absolutely de- devastated? No, I, you know, I, I just stayed in the moment. I just did what I'd always done, you know, yeah. and so that's all we could do. And, and just even getting to that point, I had just kept doing the work really being an artist is just being an artist moment to moment, day by day. And on those days where it's tough, just showing up and doing the work anyway. It's a really, really simple journey. And, you know, the awards may come, they may go, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's fine. We just keep going on and on. So, so I know that um, I've made you lots of copies before. <laughs> um, I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> this is, I've been like, what's this? All the time. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, let's make coffee. No, that, yeah, that? I would love you to make me a coffee. Really? Like, if you ask yes. my other siblings, no, they're like, I'm asking coffee you. Really? Yeah, let's go. Okay. What do you want to make me? I think, um, what do you want to make me out of I kind of, because you're worldly and you're like White is a double espresso with heated textured milk, usually made in a five and a half ounce ceramic cup. There is huge debate on whether the flat white comes from Australia or New Zealand because of the early Italian immigration to Australia, but they say it was perfected in Wellington, New Zealand. As a Kiwi myself, it's hard to say. Difficulty rating, five. Have you made coffee before? No. Okay. Do you want to stop it? Do you want to stop it? Oh, you actually stop it. Yeah. Good. Do you want to stop it? You know I had to 
drink with afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah.